Welcome to week seven of the Fullerton College Football Weekly Report. This is Vincent Garcia for SportsNetUSA.net reporting live below a cloudy sky here at Fullerton, California, where practice has just ended here at Sherbeck Field. This past Saturday, the number three Hornets took on number four Riverside City College at Wheelock Stadium. The last time the two teams matched up was October 12th of last year, and Fullerton pulled through 38 to 36. Riverside was looking for a redemption. Riverside ran out of the gates first, scoring on three different scores. The first one was a 14-yard pass from Nicholas King to Denzel Foster, three and a half minutes into the game. The Tigers' next score was on a safety, with 7:54 left in the first to make the score nine to nothing. Kicker Jimmy Camacho then added three more points to give the Tigers a 12-0 lead on a 31-yard field goal. Before the end of the first quarter, Hornets kicker Casey Iman kicked a 32-yard field goal to put Fullerton on the board but still trailed 12-3. Camacho kicked a 33-yard field goal at the start of the second quarter, but Fullerton answered back on Iman's 23-yard field goal to make the score 15-6 with 3-10 left in the first half. The Tigers then added one more score before halftime on Nicholas King's 31-yard touchdown run with just over a minute to go. The Hornets trailed 22-6 at the half. With, the, with Fullerton failing to score a touchdown in the first half, it was the first time since their loss against Butte College at the state championship game last December that this happened. Riverside's Nicholas King threw two more touchdowns in the third quarter, and that would be all for the Tigers. The Fullerton offense struggled on the ground against the Tiger defense, rushing for only 15 yards and 231 yards of total offense. The Hornets did score, however, in the fourth quarter when Jory Verhey threw to Howard Gauta for a three-yard touchdown with two minutes left in the contest. Verhey was 20 of 37 for 191 yards, one touchdown, and one interception. The Fullerton defense also had a rough night, giving up 569 total yards. The Hornets look to bounce back when they face Santa Ana College this Saturday, October 8th, for the 92nd Key to the County game at Eddie West Field. Kickoff is at 1 o'clock. The game will also be audio only on SportsNetUSA.net. Mark Pavlovich and Corey Nalen to call the action. That does it for Week 7 of the Fullerton College Football Weekly Report, reporting live from Sherbeck Field as the Hornets finish off with some last-minute practice reps. This is Vincent Garcia for SportsNetUSA.net.